Good afternoon. Happy MPA Monday. My name is Nikki. I'm here on the Mendocino Headlands, on the parks, the public lands. I'm going to talk to you guys about Tunis Alungus in just a few minutes, letting a few people join as we enjoy the scenery. Right now we can see some of the commercial urchin boats diving for urchin with the Ocean Protection Council, removing sea urchins from the floor to help our kelp forest. Can you guys hear me okay? Give me a little like or a comment in the comment section, making sure you can hear me and see me all right. My name is Nikki. I'm here at the Noyo Headlands Public Lands, watching our Coast Guard come in and also a boat going out fishing, probably for salmon today as the water is a little rough to go out far for tuna. Over here we have some commercial urchin divers diving for urchin, removing urchins from the seafloor. One guy fishing off the rocks below me, helping our kelp forest flourish. But today what I really want to talk to you guys about as we are in the midst of tuna season where the warm water currents come in close enough where sport and commercial fishermen can go out in our normally really rough seas to go out and grab some tuna. And how do they do this? They go and troll for tuna and when they're trolling they use anchovies as bait because just as the water breaks from the cold water to the warm water is where they school a fish like the anchovy and the sardines and the squid hang out where they really like to feed on. And these fish are amazing because these long fin tuna, the tuna salungus, also known as the tombo and other names because this fish started the canning industry in Monterey back in the day. It was used as trash meat, trash meat before that for prisoners and other people who liked to eat seafood and needed food on big supply and demand. Um, they also used to feed prisoners lobster, but that's a totally different story for another day and another live stream. If you guys have any questions about these topics, I'm gonna give you a few fun facts about the tuna, um, albacore tuna, Pacific albacore tuna, during this live stream. But if you guys wanna know more information, leave me a comment, message us, and let us know what you're um, wondering or want to know about. So in Northern California, the sport fishermen, the recreational fishermen can have 25 or take 25 per day per person. And in Southern California, you, the take is only 10 per day and commercial fishermen can take much more. This uh, species of fish is not threatened. They have a large population as when they're growing, they grow fast in the first few years of life. And then they slow down a little bit as they mature to about age five or six, they are able to reproduce in great number because they can reproduce and produce 800,000 eggs up to 2.6 million eggs per year to, um, for offspring. And they can reach speeds up to 50 miles an hour, exceed those speeds as their body is shaped like a bullet and their long pectoral fins is the longest of the tuna and they move like a bullet and their pectoral fins fits right into the sleeve of their side body and helps them torpedo through the water to catch their prey and to fish and to hunt. They also have very large eyes that are very large proportional to their body close to the big eye tuna, how big their eyes are. It helps them to fish at night and hunt at night for these schools of fish. And some more fun facts about the tuna is they can migrate up to 500, or so 5,000 miles in their lifetime. Their speed and their shape of their body and how they eat helps them to migrate great distances. Staying with the warm water currents just as it hits the cold water to find those schools of fish like they like to feed on, the sardines, the anchovies, and the squid. So I'm very fascinated by this fish as I am a sports fisherman myself and I like to go out. They are just about 35, give or take five miles on the um, outside of here of Mendocino. That's where the warm water current is sitting right now. 
It can go out much further, 60 plus miles or more, um, as they migrate at different times a year. And they are fun to fish for because they put up a pretty good fight. And so when you're reeling in, you get tired after just a few fish when you're fishing. And they are one of the few tuna that have white meat and are really tasty for good for canning or grilling or all sorts of types of cooking. And um, thank you guys for being here. I want to shout out to Mendo Parks for supporting us, all our projects and our educational learning, distance learning projects we have going right now with the homeschool online programs. My favorite way, oh, thank you Steve for questioning or commenting. My favorite way to prep tuna is canning. All sorts of spices. Um, I put jalapenos in, sometimes habanero, um, different sauces. I like different marinades in the canning process. It's a fun, long, lengthy, exhausting process, but it's so worth it once you get the can and um, you have it for a couple years to come because it is good in the can until you open it, like the ones at the store. Um, if anyone else has any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box and I'll be sure to answer them here on this video and I'll be posting this video after. If you have any questions later on, I'll answer them then. And stay tuned later in this week as we have more live streams coming your way. Late on Wednesday, we have a live stream in Hindi Woods from Steve and also Craft Corner by Kat in Mercariker State Park um, on Friday about one o'clock. Give or take a little bit, a few minutes or so. And just to give you guys another glimpse of where I'm at, here in the Noyo Harbor entrance, we have a few boats coming and going as they're fishing. We just saw the Coast Guard boat come in, probably from a training or a call. And then over here we have the commercial urchin fishermen boats that are a part of the Ocean Protection Council um, funding their project to remove urchins, mainly purple urchins from the seafloor that are overabundant and overpopulated in our area and helping our kelp forests to be thriving in the future. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here and joining me. I'll turn the, um, I'm gonna take off in just a few minutes, but if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure to post this video um, later that you can check it out. And if you guys are interested in another topic for next week or more interested in about the tuna or the, this type of tuna, the Pacific albacore, or tuna lungus, that's what they call it in scientific terms, I'll be sure to answer and comment and reply back to you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. Um, make sure you have your mask when you go in public and give people appropriate social distancing or distance from other people to keep others safe. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.